Now, for more than a decade, several scores of scholars have been exploring every conceivable source of information bearing on the operation of the slave system. The search led them into the deepest recesses of the National Archives and of various state archives, where the original, handwritten schedules of information collected by the census takers of 1850 and 1860 were stored. These documents contain quite detailed information about every plantation then extent, as well as about the slaves who were born, lived, and died in those years. The Cleometricians, now, Cleometrics is basically the study of historical data by the use of statistical, often computerized techniques. That's, that's what they're doing, but they're also looking at the records as well. The Cleometricians also scoured the papers of the historical societies of various southern states and some states in the north, where are deposited the family papers and business records of the largest planters. The wills and other legal documents of the estates of planters have been particularly valuable, right? Because they're going after the information, like they keep detailed records of plantation life and their business. And that's what they look to, uh, to find out how they govern their slaves. In addition to yielding prices on tens of thousands of slaves, these records have been one of the principal bases for determination of the structural characteristics of black families. Pursuit of this body of evidence eventually led even to such places as the Wasatch Mountains of Utah, where the Genealogical Society of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints has stored microfilms of probate records gathered from hundreds of county courthouses. As a result of their search, the Cleometricians have amassed a more complete body of information on the operation of the slave system than has been available to anyone interested in the subject either during the antebellum era or since then. It is this enormous body of evidence which is the source of many of their new discoveries. Now, some of the discoveries were at one time as unbelievable to the Cleometricians as they will be to readers of this volume. So they're basically saying that they found information that contradicts what we've been told, you understand, by looking at the books and, and studying historical data. Indeed, many of the findings presented in the chapters that follow were initially discounted, even rejected out of hand, but when persistent efforts to contradict the unexpected discoveries failed, these scholars were forced into a wide-ranging and radical reinterpretation of American slavery. See, so they're, giving, they're getting a total um, um, overview of slavery that contradicts the propaganda of the abolitionists, right? This will be a disturbing book to read. It requires forbearance on the part of the reader and a recognition that what is set forth represents the honest efforts of scholars who, whose central aim has been the discovery of what really happened. We believe that this forbearance will prove worthwhile. For the findings we discuss not only expose many myths that have served to corrode the poison relations between the races, but also help to put into a new perspective some of the most urgent issues of our day. So basically they're just uh, finding a whole bunch of information that just completely contradicts the abolitionists. And, um, you know, I can't wait to discover all the stuff that they talk about. I already know some of them, but it's gonna be interesting to find out what else they know about. And these people, these two authors, they have been hounded, right? Because they're giving information that's totally contradictory to what we're told and they were attacked, viciously attacked, right? Because their, their reputation is on the line. The people that have been saying all these nasty things about slavery and slavery is this, slavery is that, and then they're coming up with something that counters what they say. So they're going to attack these people because they don't want to look foolish. But, you know, there's, there's a lot of misinformation about slavery. There's a lot of misinformation about world history. So um, it's going to be interesting to see what they say.